Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today we're back with another game for the Charlotte Knights. Um, and today we are still playing Norfolk. We uh, lost the uh, first game of the Norfolk series, if you recall, because it was on the channel, and I will put a link to it um, at the end of this video. But we lost to them 24-6. 24-6, and I'm not expecting a lot um, better from this game because in this game I pretty much have to have my starter go the distance because, uh, or as close as I can possibly get, because I have a dog bullpen now. So we are going to finish today. Uh, I got a message. Let's see what the message says. Um. Hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, that was Mount Castle wraps Charlotte for six hits. Yeah, I know. I lived it. All right. So um, now we are going to play that game. Um. I got a guy that's looking a little hobbled, but uh, I don't know if they put him in the if they put him in the lineup, they put him in the lineup. And we are going to have Ronaldo Lopez pitching for us. He comes in with an 0-1 record and a 7-11 earned run average. So that kid. But we're going to have to try to get every ounce of whatever Mr. Lopez can give us. So let's get going. All right, he deals, and that's a base hit. And it's going to be a long day already, I can tell. So there's a leadoff double against Lopez. So Norfolk has a man on second with nobody out. And that's going to be a wild pitch. Yeah, things are really not starting off well. Okay, so now there's a man at, at third, and uh, Chris Bostic is up um, with a two and two count on him. Hopefully Lopez can put him away, and he did. All right, well, that helps. That's the first good thing that's happened. So now Anthony Santander is up. And that's going to be a, a foul ball, foul out to the first baseman. So maybe, uh, hmm, maybe Lopez gets out of this. That would be awesome. And he does. All right. All right, so what started out as a very bad uh, beginning to the game got better very quickly. All right, so Ryan Cordell is up. And he might not get a hit because he doesn't um and that brings up jordan george i think this is the guy that's uh playing with nagging injuries but he got a single so hey um and that brings up eloy eloy jimenez strikes out yeah this is not i'm not feeling this for as the actual Jimenez. Uh, Preston Tucker's up with two down and a man at first. And can that be a home run? It is. Nice. Home run by Preston Tucker. And so now uh, Charlotte has taken the good 2 nothing lead on Norfolk. And that brings up uh, none other than Matt Skoll. And he is going to be thrown out. But we did get two runs. Nice. And we're sending Lopez back out to the mound. See, he's getting eaten up pretty quickly. He just walked a guy. 
and you can see his bar right here is it's already like approaching the yellow and we're only in the second inning and that was a nice hit but it's probably going to be an out fly ball so yeah so man at first one out and uh zach winsel is up and there's going to be a stolen base Winsel or Winsedge, I don't know. But that's a strikeout, so there's two down, and maybe he can get out of it again. Stevie Wilkerson. Yeah, I know Stevie Wilkerson, and that's going to be a ground ball. All right, so two good innings in the books by uh, Lopez, and uh, up steps El City's Escobar, former Kansas City Royal. And he's out. And that brings up uh, Danny Mendick, who we expect to see on Chicago later this year. And he pops out. And then that brings up uh, Brett Nichols. And that's going to be a slow rolling ball that is gets him thrown out. So out goes C. See, now he's in the yellow. He's in the yellow already in the third inning. So, but there's an out. I mean, he's pitching well. I got no problem with the fact he's pitching well. What I got a problem with is that he's getting tired really quickly. And that's going to be a base hit. And really, I don't even really want to go as far as to say he's pitching well. I don't know if I would put it quite like that. Um, Chris Bostic is up. That's going to be a ground ball. Or maybe not. I don't know what happened there. Infield hit. I suppose that was their way of showing me an infield hit. But it should have been an out. So there's one out. Runners at first and second. And now the bases are loaded with one out. And now he is solidly in the yellow. For the uh, the tired bar, and that brings up Mountcastle, who got those six hits off of us, and he will pop out to second. I'm telling you, Lopez is like he's flirting with disaster, but he keeps coming away unscathed. So here's Austin Hayes, and he strikes out. It's great, but you know, I mean, we're still winning two nothing. But uh, yeah, I don't know how much low, how longer, how much longer low I can keep Lopez out there. All right, uh, Zach Lothar is pitching, and uh, we've got Ryan Goins up, and he strikes out. I actually saw Ryan Goins playing for the White Sox last year when they played Philadelphia in Philadelphia. So Ryan Cordell's up. And that was a nice hit. And no, no, it wasn't. It was a fly ball. So there's two out, and that brings up Jordan George, the hobbled guy. The hobbled guy is out. So here we go to the bottom of the fourth. Or no, top of the fourth, sorry. There's two strikes, so it can't be a walk, but it is a base hit. I'm I'm just hoping, really, at this point, Lopez can guess even through this inning. Now there's two strikes, and that might be a double play. No, 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 it's not. All right, one out, one runner on. Yeah, this is going to be definitely his last inning. And that's a fly ball. So I needed a lot of innings and I didn't, I'm not going to get them. And 
And uh, yeah, now he's now see he's in the he's in the red. He is solidly in the red, and I may not even be able to get him through this inning, but I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to hope against hope that he gets through this inning, and he did. So it's still two nothing. But now I got to warm somebody up, and that's going to be it for Lopez. I really needed certainly more than four innings from him. All right, let's see what we got out here. See, everybody's yellow except for Evan Marshall. So I am going to put him in the bullpen, and now we will go back to game action. And it's going to be Eloy up. And Eloy flies out. And now we have Preston Tucker, who hit the two-run home run for us to put us up 2 nothing, and he hit a dribbler in front of the plate. And he's out. And now that brings up Matt's goal. And he's going to be thrown out by the pitcher, very likely. All right, let's see if Lopez can... No, he can't. He, he is in the solid, dark red, I'm gassed territory. And Marshall is ready, so... I'm winning the game, so I have to try to win the game. Especially with as bad as we're doing. And he leads off by walking the leadoff hitter. And then walking the next guy. And then striking out this, the third guy, thank God. So one down, runners at first and second in the top of the pen. And there's another strikeout. Maybe he's catching his second wind here. No, he's already yellow. See, this is a problem. And I don't know if I can keep managing this team. I mean, my God, I can't keep having people get tired on me this quickly. All right, it's two to one. Um, yeah, I need to go talk to Han about this pitching staff. Um, Zach Vinsel, or whatever his name is. Looks like that will be an infield hit. Great. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know if Marshall's gonna last this inning. Well, he lasted that inning, but. All right, we have uh, El City's Escobar up and we're still winning 2-1. That's an out. And now that brings up Danny Mendick. And that's an out. And that brings up Brett Nichols. And that's going to be a double. So Brett Nichols doubling in the gap. We really need to knock this run in. Ryan Goins, and he's out. Oh, no, he walked. Nice. All right, well, we got two on, and we've got Ryan Cordell up. And that's going to be a base hit, and a run will score on it. Nice. And now we've got, uh, I probably should get somebody up, even though I have a dog-tired bullpen. We'll get Osich up. I don't even remember if Osich pitched last game, but. And that's an out. So we're out of the inning. But we extended the lead. We got a 3-1 lead here. I'm going to try to get him through this 
inning for sure. Mason Williams and Mason Williamson. I don't know what his name is. And that's going to be a, a home run. Yeah, and now he's dog tired. So now it's three to two, and I have to immediately go back to the bullpen. Can you feel for me? Can you feel for me, everyone out there? All right, so Osich is in the game. Hopefully he can give me something. Well, he's all the way back on the other end, so maybe he can. Ah, oh, man. All these infield hits. All right, one out. Runner on, and of course he's going to be safe stealing second. And that's going to be a double or a home run. And tie game. So now I did all this work to try to um, preserve a win, and we're tied. And now Osich is already immediately tired. I don't know what I can do. But he's going to pitch this inning anyway, and I don't really care what happens. All right, so now they're ahead 4-3. And that's going to be another rip and another run. Uh, five, three. Yeah, he's dog tired, but I mean, what, you know, what can I do? Six three. And there's an out. Now I gotta warm somebody else up who's gonna get tired immediately after he comes into the game and throws a pitch, but really I probably shouldn't. I just should probably stick with Osich and just let him get his butt beat in and then stop the line of relief pitchers right there. And that is in fact probably what I'm going to do, but it's going to be another 24 to 6 game or something or 24 to whatever game. All right, top of the seven. Osage still out there. Got to take his lumps. Speed is 35. That's Sucre, all right? He's, he's not going to steal. Just everybody's going to walk on him. And that's a double. Or is it a fly ball? No, it was a fly ball. Deep fly ball. One out. Runners at the corners. Hit the batter. Did we just get one out there? Unreal. All right, two outs. And 
And it's going to be a long game for Osich. Ten three. What happened here? Suicide. How do you do it? Well, I took this gun and he. Holy what shit! The Who does that? That was so irresponsible. <laughs> I mean, if anybody out there, like, I mean, if you know what I should be doing, let me know. But just bringing in a string of relievers again is not going to solve the problem. It's not going to win the game for us. And it's going to keep the bullpen tired, which I can't have happen. So. So it's 12-3. And another hit gets through. And, of course, he's not going to throw the ball because you don't want to get an out right there. And that's going to be another ripped base hit. See, if this was real life, it would be different. I would have to go through the bullpen because, you know, you can't risk injury to somebody. But since this is a computer game, and I don't even know if they factor in whether a pitcher gets injured if you keep pitching him when he's getting his, his butt bound. But at least he gets a little between inning rest, right? And what makes matters even worse is we're home. So we have to go through the entire ninth inning. Like, he has to pitch in the ninth. He wouldn't necessarily have to pitch in the ninth if we were visiting and we could, and we didn't get the tying runs, which we won't because it's 14-3. to three. All right, so top of the eighth. Osage, dog tired. And that's a ball outside. And uh, let's see, that's a home run. The stats for this team are going to be real interesting. I mean, I might bring somebody else in for the ninth, but that it's still not a good idea. All right, there's a double play. Thank God. And there's going to be an out. Good. And really, the concerning thing was that Evan Marshall, when I brought him in, he was white. His name was in white. So he was well rested, and he still got knocked out early. So, all right. You know what, Osich? Yeah, I know your ERA is going to take an ass whooping here, but you got to do it for the team. So we lost the other one 24. What was it, 24-3? So let's see if we can avoid not giving them 24 runs. There is one out, though. And that's going to be another run. So that'll be the ninth. No, no, they hold up. 
Bases, no. All right, runners at the corners with one out. And that's going to fall right in front of the outfielder who just really was not running fast enough to get the ball. And it's 19 to 3, Norfolk. I bet the Orioles really wish that their big club was this, as good as their Norfolk club is. All right, it's 21 3. And that's going to be another base hit and another run. Yeah, they might tie that score. It's 22-3 with one out. Well, that might be an out. And is at second. All right. He got us through the game. I mean, you know, we're going to lose it big time. But we probably would have lost anyway because we were losing when it was a a relatively close game anyhow. Eloy is up in the ninth. That's going to be a fly ball. And uh, Preston Tucker's up. And is that a fair ball? My God, that's a fair ball. He rips one down the line for a double. I mean, I don't want to get too excited because even if he scores, it's just 22-3 or 22-4. But and there's two out, and hopefully this will be the last out. But it won't because it's a base hit, and we're not going to score. He can't risk it. We need base runners anyway because we got to get 19 runs. So it's 22-4. And that does it. That's the game, 22-4. And here is the, uh, yeah, now, yeah, now the Vince guy, I guess it's Vince banged out five hits. Not Mountcastle this time, but Vince. So there you got the uh, line score for Charlotte. Um, see, look at these batting averages, too. You know, Nichols is, I think he's my backup catcher, and he's hitting 273. And then you got that George guy at 316, and you got Cordell at 273, but everybody else is terrible. And then on top of that, um, you got Marshall with a 15 earned run average, and now Osich with a 3510 earned run average. But but I did rest the bullpen. There only I only used two relievers. So we will finish the day up, and uh, we'll go look at the standings. And there we are, two and five. No, that's the Columbus Clippers. We're one and one and six. One and six, and uh, not doing well. So anyway, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.